There's a new thought-provoking legal game created by a local family to educate people about the law. Yeah, Chelsea Edwards joins us live in the studio with the masterminds behind the game to tell us what it's all about. Chelsea, I love this concept. Yes, masterminds indeed. I played a few rounds of this, and I got to tell you, it was a lot of fun learning all the things that I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> the name of the game is Crime No Crime. We've got Eartha and Antoine Johnson here. So why did you feel the need to create this? It, 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 we're a family of lawyers, and because we're a family of lawyers, we get the calls from our friends and friends of our friends when someone's in trouble. And we literally have had front row seats watching lives destroyed and families torn apart when people they love gets caught up in the criminal justice system. From those calls, I would say seven out of ten, they either didn't think they were uh, uh, committing a crime or they didn't appreciate the gravity of their conversations or their actions. Mm. And that, you know, it, it's impressed them on me that most people don't know the law. In the U.S., they say ignorance of the law is no, is no defense, mm. but it's led to the mass incarceration of so many of our people because they don't know the law. All right, so let's talk about how the game is played and how it's going to help us learn the law. Okay, the, I was very intentional. What we did is we came up real, with real-life scenarios. Mm -hmm. And it says crime, no crime. And so we would ask you, pick a card, just... Uh, pick a card, any card? Yeah, just okay, any card. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll take this one. Okay. okay. It says, allowing your seven-year-old child to stay home alone after school who dies in a house fight from uh, playing, for ma playing with matches. Ooh. Crime, no crime. Definitely a crime, I'm going to say. Uh, and most people, you know, in, 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 in Texas, however, you know, it doesn't have an age where you can stay home alone. But if they do get in a fire from playing with matches, that's saying that child wasn't mature enough. And that's the, what, what we have, criminally negligent homicide or involuntary manslaughter. So so it also tells you the charges that yeah, you Yeah, they're the charges. That's the first is crime, no crime, and mm -hmm. then what's the crime? Okay, all right. And then you mentioned that you have a family of lawyers. You've also got a bunch of judges in your family as well? Yeah, I have uh, a judge, a prosecutor, and Antoine's a uh, criminal defense attorney. Okay, and you're married to a Another lawyer, well. corporate <laughs> lawyer. Okay. So you all kind of created this and mm -hmm. put all your minds together. Okay. We got to go, but I am definitely going to play some more. I'm going to pull in some anchors to play with me so we can see how much we know with crime, no crime. All right, send it back to you at the desk. 